Well, I think it's one, not the other, Tyler. The rates themselves don't bother me. As a matter of fact, I'm seeing some positives in these rates, to be honest. It's the speed. I mean, you saw about an 11 basis point move in the 10 year note, about a 15 basis point move in the 30 year note, and that's over the course of four days. We saw 12 and 15 basis points, respectively, in the prior month. So again, it's the speed of the move, which is giving that extra little push down to the equity markets. Obviously, NASDAQ has the chip story as well, and, so the, hence the acceleration of the NASDAQ. And what does that tell you about the mood of bond investors or the markets or the economy? What's the message of, that, of the speed there? Well, it's twofold. Number one, that inflation might be real. And number two, that there's enough economic cover for the Fed to actually continue to push up these rates and have the yield curve steepen. I think that's what not, what's not being talked about a lot in this particular bond move is we've now got the yield curve back to where it was, 2s, 10s, and 2s, 30s, August 1st, which prior to that had been shrinking. In September, it moved down a basis point. Now we're back out, respectively. 2s, 30s is now 46 basis points. That's where it was the beginning of August. All the risk of the yield curve flattening has moved out just as quickly as the rates have moved out. How is positioning? It seems extreme. According to the latest CFTC report, Bob, as I'm sure you've read, uh, net short positions mm -hmm. in the 10 year is at record highs. What does this tell you about where we should expect the 10 year yield to go and what the snapback could be should there be something that jolts the market the other way? Well, there's always the concern of the snapback. Short covering is actually a thing that drives a rally much, much quicker than longs mm -hmm. do. But I think when you look at it in the context of how long people have been long treasuries, this actually isn't that bad. Record highs on the shorts, absolutely. But the length of time that people have been short, the treasuries, is very short. I hate to keep using the same words. So that CFTC report, while concerning if there's a snapback, there has to be a news event to cause that snapback. Otherwise, I think it keeps building.